Patricia Arquette, a well-known figure in Hollywood, has made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning several decades, she has taken on memorable roles in both film and television. Apart from her on-screen presence, people find interest in lesser-known facts and stories about her. Whether it's a personal tale of inspiration or influence, our catch reach goes beyond the screen. Feel free to share your favorite memories or experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for amusing, surprising, and poignant facts about her. Your stories are welcome, so keep watching for more revelations. Patricia Arquette's journey in the world of film spans decades, showcasing her talent and versatility. For those new to her work, exploring her filmography provides an exciting exploration of various roles. One of her notable projects is the film Boyhood, directed by Richard Linklater. This unique coming-of-age film follows a boy's life, with Arquette delivering a compelling performance as the mother. What sets Boyhood apart is its 12-year filming span, capturing the character's genuine growth. Another must-watch is True Romance, a gritty crime film directed by Tony Scott. Arquette's portrayal of Alabama Whitman, a woman entangled in a web of crime and passion, adds depth to this cult classic. In television, Arquette shines in medium, portraying Alison Dubois, a woman with psychic abilities assisting law enforcement. Her nuanced performance earned critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. For a thought-provoking drama, consider Lost Highway, directed by David Lynch. Arquette plays a dual role in this surreal journey, showcasing her ability to navigate intricate narratives. Arquette's commitment to socially relevant projects is evident in boyhood and extends to a civil action, a legal drama addressing environmental issues alongside John Travolta. Her filmography isn't limited to drama. Arquette's comedic flair is evident in Ed Wood, a biographical film directed by Tim Burton. Here she portrays Kathy O'Hara, showcasing her versatility in different genres. In summary, Patricia Arquette's filmography is a rich collection of roles spanning genres and emotions. Whether it's the groundbreaking boyhood, the intense true romance, or the surreal lost highway, each project offers a glimpse into her talent. For newcomers, starting with these films provides a comprehensive introduction to Arquette's acting abilities, highlighting her immersion in diverse characters across various genres. Known for impactful roles in Hollywood, Patricia Arquette has made a lasting impression on the industry. In the movie Lost Highway, she played the character Renee Madison, involved in a provocative strip tease at gunpoint. This scene was ranked as the top among the five sexiest dance scenes in horror in 2018 by AllHorrorCom. Arquette's performance as Kristen Parker in A Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors not only grabbed the audience's attention, but also left an impact on co-star Robert England. England, foreseeing Arquette's future stardom, shared how many on set were enamored with her. Some sought England's advice on whether they should ask her out between takes. On an episode of the PBS series Actors on Actors in 2019, Arquette reflected on her role in Lost Highway. Despite her personal modesty, she chose characters with more sexual confidence, including nude scenes. Arquette, determined to maintain a professional set, boldly warned unnecessary crew members to stay away during such scenes, threatening to confront them if they lingered. Arquette's commitment to her craft, coupled with candid revelations about navigating intimate scenes, showcases a side of the actress that extends beyond on-screen characters. Her ability to command a scene and set boundaries underscores professionalism and dedication to her craft. Patricia Arquette's family roots are a diverse mix, tracing back to the surname Arquette. Her father's lineage includes French-Canadian, English, Swiss-German, German, Scottish, Irish, and Welsh heritage. On her mother's side, her grandfather, Yusuf Joseph Nowak, was a Jewish immigrant from Bila Zerkwa, Kiev, in the Russian Empire. Meanwhile, her maternal grandmother, Claire Hibble, was born in New York to Russian Jewish parents. In 2009, Patricia filed for divorce from Thomas Jane, citing irreconcilable differences. However, the couple reconciled briefly before parting ways for good in August 2010. Arquette's filmography includes memorable collaborations, such as her role as Dorothy in The Indian Runner, where she shared the screen with Dennis Hopper. The duo reunited in true romance, solidifying their on-screen chemistry. Her commitment to diverse roles is evident in her portrayal of Kristen Parker in A Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors. 
Co-star Robert England foresaw her future stardom, revealing that many on set were captivated by her, seeking England's advice on approaching her between takes. In the movie Lost Highway, she delivered a provocative strip tease at gunpoint, earning the scene the top spot among the five sexiest dance scenes in horror in 2018 by Al Har Khan. Reflecting on this role in 2019, Arquette, known for her professionalism, candidly discussed navigating intimate scenes, boldly setting boundaries on the set to maintain a focused and respectful environment. Patricia Arquette's Hollywood journey extends beyond her acting prowess. From her diverse ancestry to navigating relationships and portraying various characters, her influence resonates in different aspects of the entertainment industry. Patricia Arquette comes from a diverse background, with her family roots tracing back to the surname Arquette. Her father, Louis Arquette, and mother, Brenda Denot, brought forth a mix of French-Canadian, English, Swiss-German, German, Scottish, Irish, and Welsh heritage. On her mother's side, her grandfather, Yusuf Joseph Nowak, immigrated from Bila Zerkwa, Kiev, in the Russian Empire, while her maternal grandmother, Claire Hibble, had New York roots with Russian Jewish heritage. In the entertainment world, Patricia is part of a family with ties beyond the screen. The late Louis Arquette, known for his roles, and Brenda Dinot are her parents, and she has siblings like Richmond, Alexis, David, and Rosanna Arquette. Notably, Patricia is the granddaughter of the late Cliff Arquette, recognized for his TV character Charlie Weaver and Julie Harrison. She also plays the role of aunt to Zoe Blue Siddle, Coco Arquette, Charlie West, and Augustus Alexis Arquette, showcasing the interconnectedness within her family. Born at 155 AM, Patricia's Hollywood journey deepens with her educational background at the Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies, laying the foundation for her future in the entertainment industry. Beyond her acting career, Patricia's personal life includes a brief reconciliation with Thomas Jane before their final separation in August 2010. She has shown versatility in her roles, collaborating with Dennis Hopper in The Indian Runner and True Romance, solidifying their on-screen chemistry. Reflecting on her role in Lost Highway, Patricia, known for her professionalism, openly discussed navigating intimate scenes, setting boundaries on the set to maintain a focused and respectful environment. Her ability to command a scene and establish boundaries underscores professionalism and dedication to her craft. Patricia Arquette's journey in Hollywood resonates in various aspects of the entertainment industry, from her diverse ancestry to navigating relationships and portraying different characters. She has left a lasting impression that goes beyond the confines of the screen. In the filming of True Romance, a unique twist emerged. In certain VHS copies of the movie, it was Paul Ben Victor, not Patricia Arquette, who fired the fatal shot on Chris Penn in the final shootout scene. This adds an interesting layer to the film's history. Director Tony Scott, impressed by Arquette's performance, went beyond the usual appreciation. After completing the shoot, he gifted her the famous purple Cadillac. This gesture was prompted by Arquette's struggle with a Ford Futura that kept breaking down during filming, a detail she humorously shared in the 22 DVD commentary. A significant moment in Patricia Arquette's career came at the Academy Awards. She became the 143rd actress to win an Oscar, securing the Best Supporting Actress trophy for her role in Boyhood at the 87th Annual Academy Awards on February 22, 2015. This achievement solidified her presence in the industry. These stories provide insights into Arquette's journey, showcasing not only her on-screen talent, but also the quirks and rewards of navigating Hollywood. Each anecdote offers a glimpse into the unique experiences that shape an actor's legacy beyond the crafted performances on the silver screen.